Hey everyone and welcome back. It's been a while since I made these top 5 top 10 videos and honestly saying guys, I'm out of ideas, lots of work, the lockdown thing and also busy with other channel stuff. I was carried away and couldn't pay much attention here. When I was thinking about what I could do, this video topic randomly came to my mind. As I'd never done such a video till date, I thought of doing it with all the stuffs that will come in handy, save time and also make it easier for you all. Now some of these you might know or you might not know. I learn something new every now and then, so if you all know something that I might have missed in this video, then feel free to let us all know down in the comments. Maybe we all will learn something new. So with that being said, let's get on with the video and go through all the 20 plus tips and tricks to make the GTA life and also the businesses easier in GTA 5 online. I'll be starting with the free mode ones and then go about orderly rather than mixing everything up and confusing stuff for everyone. So going about to the first one is that you can buy ammo from the interaction menu. Some of you know it but trust me many players don't. This can be very helpful if you are in a PvP or going after griefer or tryhard. You can instantly fill your ammo and continue rather than having to waste time running up to the ammo store every now and then. Talking about the ammunition, when you are there to refill, instead of having to keep spamming a button a lot of times to fill up your ammo, you can just hit the toggle button that is the space bar on keyboard and it will show the option to fill up completely, saves a lot of time as well. For consoles, I think it's the button X on your controller. Next tip is with the weapons reloading. It is so annoying when you're in a PvP gun battle or a mission where there are enemies attacking you and your character takes forever to reload, especially the machine guns. Well, the best tip here is to switch weapons quickly. You can switch to other weapon and get back to this weapon very quickly to have it completely reloaded. Next one is related to the weapons and its weapons loadout. We all know how much of an hassle it is to go through the weapon scrolling all through the unnecessary options that we don't use anymore. It's a great deal to have only the essential weapons in your loadout which makes it easier for you. For this, all you gotta do is go to your office weapon safe if you already have one. If not, then don't bother buying as you get it for free in the MOC with the weapons workshop or the weapons and the vehicle workshop. Just go to the weapon safe, enable or disable whichever weapons you want in your loadout and you're done. You can toggle on or off the weapon loadout in your interaction menu. The fourth one is also associated with weapons itself and it's about the grenades, bombs and throwables in general. When you are in the middle of a gunfight, be it PvP or missions or heist and you want to use a throwable quickly without having to switch the weapons and be vulnerable. What you can do is choose the throwable you want to use in the weapon loadout. And whilst aiming down the gun sights, you can just press G and the character throws it without having to switch weapons. This can be very useful during PvP or heist where there will be a lot of enemies. Next tip is on how you can heal faster and in a more efficient way. You can see when you are standing still and consume the snacks, your character goes through a long animation and only a tiny portion of your health bar increases. But when you are in a vehicle and you consume snacks, not only do you skip the animation but you also heal more, heal faster and with less snacks than whilst you were standing idle. So keep this in mind. Talking about the snacks, you can save some bucks in the long run filling them up by collecting them for free in your CEO office and the doomsday facility. The assistant in the office and the one at the desk in your facility both give snacks for free. Next tip too is regarding your health. Your favorite bike or favorite car has a bonus for you. It replenishes your health completely whenever you use that particular vehicle. I had the armored Kuruma back in the day as it was my go-to vehicle. Then with the introduction of the oppressor, it shifted to it. Now I gotta get it to the oppressor mark too, my all-time go-to vehicle. Next up is with the vehicles impounded. Say you are in a free room and doing some free mode activity with police on your tail. Or just say you get killed by the cops whilst having your personal vehicle near you. The vehicle gets impounded. If you are near to the police station, then no worries as you can just go and steal from the police station compound. But say you are far away, maybe halfway across the map or even full way. 
Instead of wasting more money on the insurance by calling the mechanic and requesting another vehicle, you can just call up your assistant to get the vehicles out of the impound and delivered to you for just a thousand dollars. It sure does save a lot of money in the long run. Talking about cops, well it really gets annoying when you are just going about doing your work or mission and have multiple cops shooting at you simultaneously cause you got a wanted level. And sometimes the option to call Lester and remove them will either be locked in certain instances or the option will not be available. In these instances what you can do is go underground. The railroad next to the big under construction building in the city and the two sewer entrances, one on the highway and the other one near the casino, are the best locations. You lose the cops even if you have 3, 4 or even 5 stars. If you are in free roam, not doing any businesses or in any mission, you can just go into the bunker, nightclub, arcade, casino properties to lose the cops instantly. Works with terabyte as well. Talking about wanted levels, once you start getting more stars, the police helicopters will start spawning and start shooting you causing a lot of damage. Best way to get rid of the helis is to shoot the pilot or if that's hard then aim for the tail rotor blades. Taking out those blades will make the heli lose control and crash. Next is with the cell phone and scrolling through all the unnecessary contacts to go to your required one. It can be super annoying when you have to scroll through all of them in order to get to Lester or in other instances the mechanic. For this you can just press the side arrows to go up or down skipping a few names. This can be handy in many times. I do this literally all the times. Next is the personal vehicles and how to get them quick. Say you are on the random part of the map and you quickly want to get your vehicle. Instead of having to go through your phone contacts, calling up your mechanic, you can just go to your interaction menu and get your personal vehicle delivered to you with just few clicks instead of the long waiting time of calling. Also if you register as an MC president, then you can instantly get any motorcycle delivered right next to you. You can also send a vehicle to garage if you wanted to change vehicles. If not, we have to either go far away from that personal vehicle or destroy it in order to call another vehicle. So with the MC you have the option to send them back to the garage or even call motorcycles as many times as you want without worrying about the cooldown timer. Going to the next one is that well GTFI is a big map and going from one place to another like from the city to upper section of the map or even from the bottom to the top of the map is going to take a ridiculously long time. Best is to get yourselves a helicopter which can be obtained from various parts of the map. If you go to the airports, runways, you will even get random planes which you can use. Make use of these and save time whilst playing the game. Here's a pic which shows all the locations on the map from where you can get aircrafts from. Next tip is with teleporting. Now this helps you in saving tons of time that we all waste in traveling. Say you are away from the city and you want to quickly get back to the city. What can you do? Best is to have any old school heist started and use that to teleport. When you start the heist or the setups, you keep getting message notifications from Lester. Just start them up and when you load into high screens, just back out and you will be teleported to your apartment from wherever you were on the map. You can do the same with just about any heist. The old school apartment heist, the doomsday facility heist or the newest casino arcade heist. I do this all the time to teleport all across the map and save a lot of time. Next tip is also regarding the same topic. You can use the helicopter feature to fast travel to your office or the warehouses. Also from the pause menu, you can choose any location on the map and travel right AFK. It just won't be a fast travel. All you gotta do is call up your assistant and request a luxury helicopter. Simple as that. For those that want to know the right, other ways of fast Enjoy traveling, teleporting and traveling from one place to another being AFK, then check out the video I have already made, links at the top and in the description. Talking about AFK, the next tip is how you can go AFK in the safest way because many do it wrong and end up getting raided. First and foremost thing is that you need to retire once you have finished the work be it selling or resupplying as staying registered as CEO or MC president and doing nothing raises the risk of getting raided. Pretty sure you all don't want that. Next, you can go AFK by calling Lester or going to your wardrobe in any of your properties and opening the clothes menu or another way is to just go into the marker of your CEO office which takes you to the selection screen. 
Now you can just keep something heavy on your up or down arrows or if you use console then you can just use a rubber band and you are set. Whenever you want to go AFK just follow these methods. Also just remember to go into passive mode before going AFK. This is to prevent your character from getting harassed if some modder happens to spawn you outside of those buildings. Just to be on a safer side. Next tip is that you can rappel down helicopters. This is limited to the Maverick and also the Annihilator and doesn't work with other helicopters. When the helicopter is at a certain height, you will be prompted to press a button depending on console or PC and once pressed, the character will perform the action of rappelling down the helicopter. Not that useful as you can just jump out and use a parachute but kind of cool that you can do that. Also cool to those that make cool videos or short GTA movies will find this useful. Next up is a big most useful tip before I head into businesses related tips. It is to buy the supplies all the times. I have told in all my money making guides the use and importance of buying supplies. Many players as well as the new players think that by doing manual resupply runs you will be saving a lot of money. But in reality, you are just wasting too much of your precious time in which you can make almost twice or even thrice the money you spend on buying a full batch of supplies. Let me explain how. For the manual resupplying of your businesses, in order to completely fill up the supplies bar, you need to do a minimum of 3 resupply runs if you get the vehicle deliveries. But if you get the drop and pickup deliveries, then it will be 4 resupply runs in minimum. Now not all the resupply missions happen near to your bunker. Some happen far away at the top of the map or even at the bottom of the map. They take up a long time to finish which ends up as a lot of time wasted. It takes up roughly 5 to 10 minutes to complete these so in an average a player wastes about 30 to 40 minutes doing these manual resupply missions. Sometimes it can even go higher than that. If you buy the supplies, in that time frame, you can sell about 2 top range cars or even 3 depending on the time, do VIP jobs and client jobs in between and make over 200 to 300 thousand dollars in the time you waste by doing manual resupplies. Think about it. That's why I keep stressing in my money guides to buy supplies so you can be more productive. Think about all the times wasted on manual resupplies. Trust me. Cause I used to do it earlier too. How else do you think I unlocked the bunker's secret alien egg mission? So in short, buy supplies. Next going to the general tips regarding businesses with the first one that includes both bunker and the MC businesses. The vehicle resupply missions fills up two supply bars whereas the pickup missions fills up only one. As you can see from the video, I picked up a supplies drop from the heli drop mission and delivered to the bunker and just a tiny portion was filled. Next I did the APC resupply mission and now look at the supplies bar. This is the same for both the bunker and the MC businesses. Next with the bunker itself. For the helicopter package missions for which you get the technical aqua. Just ignore it and use a buzzard or the mark 2. Cause many times the resupplies are done solo and if you drive the technical you will be in a bad position as the helis will just fly off. Basically use these vehicles for most of these missions and ignore the ground vehicles they give you. For the Meriwether Convoy mission where you gotta steal an APC from an armored Meriwether Convoy, use an insurgent. Earlier I used to use the armored Kuruma, take out the Valkyrie from a distance with a sniper and then would just steal the APC whilst taking out the guards from the safety of the Kuruma's bulletproof glass. But Rockstar kind of made changes to the mission and after that the APC starts blasting you with the cannon and also the Valkyrie shoots you with explosive ammo. The armored Kuruma can't withstand explosions and you'll end up dying as you can see from the video. So best use the vehicles with armor and that can withstand explosions. The insurgent is the best that I would recommend. It's a beast and it can withstand about 6 to 7 explosions. Next with the MC business resupplies. In the mission where you gotta go to a MC club, fight the lost MC gang members and retrieve the supplies, best is to go behind this counter and take them out one by one. If you're outside of it, they'll gang up on you and kill you instantly. As you can see, I took them out, collected the supplies and out of there quickly without dying even once. 
Then the next one is with the armored vans. If you get the correct one in the beginning tries, then nothing much. But if it's the last one, instead of blowing the doors open, just steal it and drive it off to the MC business. Once you reach the marker, then you can blow open the door and deliver it. The reason to do is to prevent the blips from showing up on the map. This way no one in the map will be alerted that you are transporting goods. Next is a tip for the nightclub's popularity mission. The mission in which you gotta go destroy 4 developers cars. Best is to just get a buzzard and shoot them up. Earlier I would go beat once or twice and use a gun. But the buzzard is a better choice as it saves a lot of time by getting the work done faster. Next with the tips for the crates business to save time so you can be more efficient in grinding and making money. For the single crate supply machines, don't go into the circle marker near your warehouse. Instead, go to the marker in front of the warehouse entrance door. This saves you from the long loading times as well as saves you from running back to the door and in some warehouses, running back to your vehicle as well. This might seem like a small thing but in the long run, it will save a lot of time, trust me. For the crates themselves, the value of a single crate increases with the more number of crates you fill in the warehouse. As you can see from the video, I have just one remaining crate to fill up the entire 111 crates of the large warehouse. And if you check the remaining balance to 4.44 million dollars is 150 thousand dollars. But if you fill up your warehouse with just one crate, then its value is just 20 thousand dollars. This is why you need to completely fill up your warehouses and sell them. The product's value increases the more you collect. Just imagine one crate worth $150,000. That to this is a normal crate and not a rare special item. Next is the map blips and the mobile blips and finding the right vehicle carrying the crates instead of having to go searching all of them wasting a lot of time. When you go to the location, open the app on your phone. Keep an eye on it to see the last clip that comes on the screen. That is the one that's carrying the crates. This is also the same method for the 4 green blips mission. The last one to appear on the map or the last one to stop blinking is the one with the crates in it. You can skip the rest and go directly to these and that way save a lot of time. Next is with the final one, the import export business. For the car bomb mission, just put the GPS to your warehouse and start driving towards it instead of driving elsewhere trying to not blow up. Just steal the car, stay calm and drive towards the warehouse. Reason to do so is by the time you reach there, the timer will just get over and you don't have to worry about your blip going on the map alerting everyone. You can deliver even before it goes public. If you reach early, just circle in that location nearby to your warehouse and then deliver it off. Simple as that. Then we have the cops chase mission. Some stupid thief steals the car and leads to a police chase with a helicopter. For this mission you can use the armored Kuruma or best use the insurgent. The reason is that even though the armored Kuruma has bulletproof windows, it has certain restrictions in the certain angle you can shoot at. So you can't just look back and start shooting like you do from other vehicles. So for that instance alone, choose the insurgent, a better option. Then once you somewhat come near to the location, get out and take out the helicopter. You can do this after you take out the car driver as well, but remember to take out as they will be on the tail shooting and cause damage to the car. Once done, just go about, take out the driver and lose the cops if they are very near to you and in large numbers before getting in the car. If not, go ahead. Once you get in, just call up Lester and head out to the warehouse. This is somewhat similar to the traffic stop mission as well. When you get to the location, take out the two cops and start calling up Lester. Once you are inside of the car, remove the cops. Sometimes it kind of glitches if you are outside and remove the cops and when you get inside, you get cops again. Mine kind of lagged as you can see in the video, hence the delay. The method is same for the car photo shoot mission and the stunt jump missions. But in these, along with the cops, the bodyguards come behind you as well. For these, just follow my way and park the oppressor or other weaponized vehicles in the route you will be headed. Once you steal the car, remove the cops and as you near to the location, just jump into your vehicle and destroy them. There will be about 4 waves with 2 vehicles. 
once you take them all out, you can just get back in the car and go ahead with delivering it to the warehouse. And for the final mission, the most annoying one, recovering the car from a barge on the sea. Get to the cargo bob, go near to the location and snipe out the enemies. After that, airlift the car and as soon as you near the mainland, drop it safely as enemy helicopters will spawn and they will shoot you down in seconds. After that, take out those helis and you can also use the mark 2 like I did and once you clear all of them, you can just get back to the delivery. You can either drive it back or airlift it and deliver it. I like driving them. So that's how you get those done with minimalist damage guys. You can just go all in and don't bother much, but those that are very much interested in saving money and not causing much damage can go with these methods. More of these tips, tricks, easy methods and shortcuts related to businesses are in their respective business videos. Check them out, all links will be in the description. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. Do drop the video a like and also subscribe for more such awesome videos to come. Thank you all and have a good day.